getting rain gardens built without lifting a shovel. Hello everyone, this is Susan Bryan with Washtenaw County Water Resources Commissioner's Office in Ann Arbor, Michigan. And I'm Elizabeth Heiser with Cuyahoga Soil and Water Conservation District out of Cuyahoga County, Ohio. And we um, are here to talk to you about the Master Rain Gardener class. And the Master Rain Gardener class, um, just to go back, is um, teaching people how to build a rain garden themselves. So they design, they build it all the way through the whole process. And it's a great way to get rain gardens built in a community that's substantially already built out. Like here is Ann Arbor. Most of the places already have houses or yards or there's no like big um, public areas to build a rain garden except for maybe the big house and I might get in a little trouble if I put a rain garden in the big house. So this is how to get rain gardens built on all those private pieces of property. Here's a bunch of rain gardens that got built in Ann Arbor and now we're up to more than a thousand rain gardens built um, throughout because of the Master Rain Gardener program starting to be about a hundred a year and that's a lot of rain gardens especially rain gardens that you did not pay to build. So it's a, it's a, good, it's a nice model. Um, I used to design rain gardens for residences and um, you know, other landscape projects, but now I really focus on teaching people how to design and build their own rain garden. So a train the trainer model. You probably already offer a workshop or um, like a one night seminar about what is a rain garden, how to build it. But this is a more in depth class and there's some more sort of parts of it that make it a little bit more effective at getting people to actually build it. One of the things that we say in class is that we try to teach them everything we know about designing and building a rain garden. And we're trying to teach people to fish rather than giving them fish. We're trying to teach them to fish. So it's a five part class. We teach them to design. We teach them how to do a risk assessment so that they're not causing drainage problems for themselves or their neighbor, how to dig it, how to mulch it, how to plant it. Digging a rain garden, as you may know, is not an easy project. <laughs> Elizabeth is smiling. <laughs> she also has built one because of this class. And um, it is, takes a lot more than one weekend. And if you think about uh, any family project that you are trying to implement, it takes a while. Here's an example. Um, this is a beautiful rain garden that turned out nicely in Ann Arbor. This is the before picture. And then it, you, it always seems to involve like taking out some concrete. So get out your sledgehammer, maybe get out your teenagers, start digging that trench for the pipe to go in and then you know get, gather your help. This one was a little fancier because it has a wall um, on the downhill side and that takes even more effort, more digging. Then finally when you have it all sculpted out you still need to mulch and compost and plant and then you have those little baby plants all done. Phew! And then of course nature makes everything grow but it's a big project and so convincing people to do it takes a little bit more education than a one-night seminar. The nice part about it is that when people build their rain gardens, they have put their ideas, their creativity, their blood, their sweat, their tears into this rain garden. And so they really take care of it. They end up being beautiful rain gardens on the landscape. This is, is a rain garden by Denise Held in Ann Arbor. And she, every year it gets better because she just puts all of her gardening expertise into this rain garden. Over the years, a few years ago, um, we taped the Master Rain Gardener class because of the MDEQ grant. And um, in that way, you can offer it in a, like over and over again without quite so much effort. And if you'd like to um, coordinate with me um, or collaborate with me and put together your own Master Rain Gardener class that has specific information about your location, we could do that. That's an option. Because there are some tips and tricks to um, offering a master rain gardener class that I'd share I'd like to share with you and we have a lot more I mean this is a tiny tiny like you know skim off the top of uh, what it takes but um, some of the things that we've learned over the years is that you really need knowledgeable hosts so you need someone to every single person wants feedback on their particular plan to make sure that it's going to work I mean people don't want to spend so much effort on a project that they're not really sure is going to work so um, I've acted as a guest expert 
to um, help with that sort of feedback with each of the students. But also, as you offer the class year by year, what I do is I ask alumni to come back and give feedback to the class. And they love giving advice and they know how to do it because they've built their rain garden. And you can also expand your program's capacity that way by training the trainer. Even online classes need a field trip to an actual real rain garden because that's how people can really visualize how it works. You just see their light bulbs turning on. And then also just be a decent person, keep in touch with them, celebrate their success. And they really wanna be leaders. So support their continued growth as leaders and as ambassadors, because people really wanna, like once you give them the authorization and the power to do it, they want to tell their neighbors about rain gardens. And that's what you want them to do too, because it means you have less work to do. It means you, they are out there in their social circles, which you are maybe not a part of, and telling them how, um, how important rain gardens are. Here's Roger Moon giving a tour to a garden club. So that's the kind of thing that can happen. So in a once in a lifetime collaboration between Ann Arbor and Ohio, um, <laughs> I went to um, uh, Cleveland last summer and uh, worked with Elizabeth and we co-taught uh, a master rain gardener class in Cleveland. How'd that go, Elizabeth? Really great. You know, I saw Susan Bryan give this presentation, the lengthened version at our Ohio Stormwater Conference a few years ago and said, we need this program here in Ohio. And thankfully our partners at Cleveland Metro Parks and our local soil and water conservation district and watershed partners agreed. And so we all pitched in to bring Susan here and work with our group of gardeners and watershed volunteers to do our first program here in Northeast Ohio. And we really think it went well. Not only are we excited to put rain gardens in the ground because we're a very urbanized area, just like Ann Arbor, we're excited for that capacity building and paying it forward of our new master rain gardener graduates. So this is Al Barnes. He was one of our first graduates to receive his certification. Not only did he build a beautiful rain garden that solves problems for him ponding by his gazebo, but he's already paying it forward and providing feedback to our online class um, students and giving them input based on his experience because now he is a master rain gardener. In addition, we've added a professional certification track. We have a shortage of knowledgeable profession, professionals that can help maintain and install public rain gardens. So as part of their certification, we get landscapers to take the class and they design and build public rain gardens for us. And all we have to do is provide the supplies. So this was our first class of professional graduates and with their beautiful built rain garden at Perry Middle School. We also had another group that built this beautiful um, rain garden at Lakefront Lodge where we held our second in-person course. And you can see Lake Erie in the background there. And during this class with our first two courses, we've learned that we have some specific issues, um, maybe a little different. We have a lot of suburban uh, folks taking our class, a lot of beginner gardeners taking our class and with them and the professionals we're hoping to build on the program that we've started and start offering some more individualized feedback, really bring things to the people where they're at. But we're not quite to a thousand rain gardens yet, but we did have two in-person courses, one online, online course in the past year, over 80 participants already. So they were just waiting for this course. Um, we're so excited to bring it to them. Uh, 11 rain gardens built at residences, two public rain gardens built, and we're really excited about our volunteers who are already starting to go out and help maintain our public rain gardens that desperately need it. So we're really excited. Um, we're, you know, just working with our first installers this year, so we can't wait to see how we build upon that going forward. So that was our experience and um, the Master Rain Gardener class is working out well, both in Michigan and in Ohio. So we'd love it to see it spread all across the Great Lakes. When people move from one place to another, I love it when I hear that they moved to Ann Arbor and they say, oh, well, I hear that that's just what you do when you move to Ann Arbor. That's what they should say all over the Great Lakes because the Great Lakes are so important to us as a community, as a region. So um, if you're interested in hearing um, about how to offer the Master Rain Gardener class, get in touch with me and um, we'll see how we could make that happen. 
And uh, thank you so much, Elizabeth, for appearing with us today. This was a very short version of uh, some of the things that it takes to put, offer the Master Rain Gardener class. We think it's a good model. Um, thanks so much. Have a good afternoon, everyone. Thanks. thanks.